Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you tons of cleaning motivation. I got some new bedding off of Amazon, and I'm gonna be sharing my first impressions of that with you guys, and I'm going to be cleaning and doing all of the housewife homemaker things. So if you guys like cleaning motivation and you like to hang out with someone while you're cleaning, then today's video should be tons of fun for you. I kind of made this like a hang out with me type. So I'm also going to be sharing a really yummy recipe that we tried for the first time. It's really simple and it turned out amazing. So I'm going to be sharing that in the end. And I'm also going to be doing a what's in my purse at the very end. So definitely stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so we're in my bedroom today. I have some new bedding. I'm super excited to get that out. It's still in the packaging. I ordered it from Amazon. I'm out of breath. Um, it's taking me back to my days when I was pregnant and no, I'm not pregnant. I um, just ran up the stairs really quickly to grab my camera. I went downstairs and grabbed my camera and my batteries and my tripod and I ran up the stairs and I'm clearly out of shape. But anyways, I am up here in our bedroom. It is a mess. I got new bedding from Amazon and it is still in the packaging. These days, I don't know what is up with me, but if you have been feeling unmotivated and just like not like yourself, you are not alone because I've been that way for quite some time now. But normally if I would buy stuff like this, I would get it out immediately, but it's been sitting here for a week. But I've also been kind of saving it until I could do, I want to do first impressions with you guys and share it with you guys because y'all are my friends and I thought it would be fun. So I've got that stuff in a box right here. That's just a bunch of clothes that needs to be put away. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging, look at it. I'm going to wash the sheets. There are different kinds of sheets, so I'm excited to try them. But I'm going to wash them, strip the bed, clean the bedroom, do all the things, and bring you guys along. So if you guys are here for it, you want to hang out with me, then definitely stay tuned. Okay, I filmed that whole clip and realized that I have mascara under my eye. This is my vacuum. I forgot his name. He's vacuuming in here for me. But I'm going to grab a Q-tip and get this mascara out from underneath my eye because that's embarrassing. So these are the sheets. They are by True North. I found these originally at Kohl's when I was looking for new sheets. And Kohl's shipping is not Amazon shipping, okay? So I looked to see and Amazon had them. So I was super happy about that. Now they are like a, um, here, here I'll show you. They're like a, um, I don't know, how do you explain this? Did I break my nail? That hurt when I undid the zipper. Um, not fleece. Is it fleece? I don't know. Can you guys tell on camera what I'm talking about? They're not like regular cotton sheets. So I thought these would be really warm because it's getting really cold here in Tennessee. It was 27 this morning. <laughs> so I thought these looked so amazing, but I'm going to wash them up first. And then I got some new pillow covers. I don't know. I don't know what I think yet and I don't know like if it's gonna work but it was like one of those nights where I couldn't sleep and I was shopping but I got these pillow covers they're black and white and the quality of them seems really nice like they seem they don't seem cheapy they seem nice so I'm excited about that so I got two of those um and then I got these now these are what I'm not sure about I love them they're like a fake leather they're good quality as well. I was actually really impressed. I wasn't sure if these were gonna be like super plasticky looking and they're not. They look really nice. They're good quality. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna like them for me. So I got two of those. I don't know if I'm gonna like them for me, but we're gonna see. So we have some options. And then my comforter set is here. I'm gonna get it out of the box and then I'll show you guys. I haven't looked at it yet. So it's still taped closed, so we'll see. Okay, so this is different. It came like 
shrink wrap. This is interesting. I bet it's going to be super wrinkly. Oh my god. I've never bought bedding that came like this before. So let's just take the thing off and see what happens. I wonder if we could reuse this bag though. That might be kind of cool for like um, storing it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Did I need to do that? I don't know. I think we just, I mean, who knew I was getting a vacuum seal bag with my comforter. I think when I just open this, it should be good. Yep. Wow, okay, so it came with a free vacuum seal bag. Oh, it's soft, but it's so wrinkly. Ugh. I don't appreciate that. Okay, if I'm being honest, I'm probably not going to keep that bag. So it's really, really soft, but I don't appreciate the fact that it came like that because it's so wrinkly, and your girl just does not have time for this, okay? So this is what it looks like. It's gray, and it has, like, these little pom-poms, which I know I'm probably going to regret later because washing these I feel like they fall apart but we'll see we'll see I don't want to judge it before I give it a chance I could probably what I'll well, I think what I'm probably going to do is throw it in the dryer on like a wrinkle cycle I should wet them a little bit with my spray bottle and throw them in on a wrinkle cycle and see if that helps but this is what it looks like it's very soft and comfortable feeling so I do like that Okay, I have to be quiet because Hanky's asleep right there. I'm not gonna do, you could spray it with like water to help, but I'm not gonna do that because I ain't got time for it. Delicate. Actually, wait, should I do wrinkle control? Yeah, I should do wrinkle control. Low temperature, dry level, less wrinkle prevent on. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I know I did. Okay, so as I am doing this voiceover, I just wanted to give you guys a little warning that I have a little handsome man sitting here with me, and he is helping me with this voiceover. So you may hear some background noise, like he just was banging a piece of my tripod on my desk, um, and you may get blessed and hear his sweet little voice. I don't know if he will share that with you or not, but... I am just doing the laundry here. I'm starting these sheets and I'm using my favorite cleaning products, which are the Priscilla. I love the one with the scent boost, but the regular one is also really good. And then my favorite scent beads are the Downy, the new light ones. They are amazing. They are not lightly scented. I do not know why they claim that. Um, they're supposed to be free of heavy perfumes, but honestly, they smell just as strong as like the gain ones. So I don't really agree with that claim but they smell amazing and they're my favorite ones. And then I just use the blue Suavitel. So last week I started something new and I wanted to continue that. This week I'm gonna be sharing a comment from the week prior. And I wanted to share this one here with you guys. I'm just going to put it up on the screen so you can see it. But this one is from Rhonda and she says, Hi Jesse, you were the first cleaning channel I ever saw. <laughs> and I was hooked immediately. It has been three or four years. I just wanted to say thank you. You always motivate me, make me laugh, and let me know it's okay to feel anxious and all of the emotions women have. I absolutely love you and your family. Thank you so much for all of the love and hard work you put into your channel. So I just wanted to say thank you so much, Rhonda, for the support and encouraging words. You guys mean so much to me. And I know that a lot of you say that I help you with your anxiety and your depression, but you guys also help me. And I just love this little community that we have here of women who enjoy cleaning and homemaking and all of the things. So I'm just feeling all the warm and fuzzies right now. Okay, let's see what I think. Hopefully these fit. I hope I got the right size. <laughs> so I love these pink ones. This like mauve pink color is so pretty. But I was ready 
for a change. I kind of wanted to warm it up for the winter fall. So we'll see. I just am worried about squeezing them in here, you guys. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. I really probably should have just invested in some. Oh, cause look, I don't feel like creaming that in there. I'm going to try to cream it in there, but if it doesn't work, I might go in the basement and try to find smaller or more like uh, squishy pillows because I don't want to rip. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. Be right back. Gonna try to find different pillows. Okay, so I found these that came with our couch that we have in the basement. Um, and then these that I bought on Amazon that are fillers, which honestly, if you have the money to spare, I recommend buying these because they're just so much easier to do because they're the actual size. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put these in these because I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to use these and then I'm going to try and see if the leather ones will fit over the other pillows because I'm not even sure I'm going to use those or not so we'll see. Okay, so I did do some talking in this part, but I ended up just doing the voiceover over it because this video was going to be five years long. Hey, let's not be fussy. Can you say hi? Say hi, you do. Um... But I wanted to say that these leather pillowcases, well, they're not real leather, but the fake leather, they are really good quality. I really, really love them. I am so sorry. This, I hope this voiceover, I might end up having to redo it. He is banging on my desk. They're really, really good quality. I'll have all of the bedding and everything linked for you guys in the description box, but I really was impressed with them. Okay, so I took it out of the dryer and I laid it flat and kind of smoothed out what I could. And honestly, this is like as good as it's going to get for me because I'm not the kind of person who's going to like iron or steam my bedding. It's not ever going to happen. And I like the kind of messy, cozy look anyways. This is so much better than when it came out of the packaging but I'm gonna just leave it here and let it cool down this way because it's still really warm from the dryer but so far my thoughts are oh my god seriously so soft the softest bedding I've literally ever owned in my entire life I'm curious to see how it's going to wash but it did really well in the dryer I normally don't wash my the bedding like this when I first get it um it doesn't touch our skin or anything because we sleep under sheets and a blanket. It just is just for looks. So I normally don't wash it until like, it needs to be washed. But so far, you guys, it is so amazingly soft. I wish you guys could feel how incredibly soft this is. It's amazing. I wish they made sheets this soft because, well, they're pretty soft like the ones that I get from Amazon. The sheets that I get from Amazon that I love, um, it's, it's close to that, but even even better. Okay, so um, I've had a little bit of a cold. I'm feeling so much better today, but this is disgusting. That's all my snot rags. So now I'm going to clean while I'm waiting on the bedding to finish washing the sheets and stuff. So I'm going to put away clothes and clean up in here. Baby is sleeping. Let's check on him. Yep, he is asleep, so I'm going to dust the furniture and put away stuff and just clean and freshen up in here. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme, but I'll only tell you that I'm out of time, I'm sick of love songs. Also, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. So as you know, I've switched my days to Monday. I used to upload on Wednesdays and we're going to try out Mondays now. A lot of you said that that works better for you. And I agree because Mondays typically are my days where I like get started for the week. And that typically involves a lot of cleaning and meal planning and all of the things. So 
Now, that being said, my last video did not do very well. Um, and honestly, a lot of my most recent videos have not been performing very well. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's been very discouraging for me. So if you guys could do me a favor and make sure that you're liking and commenting on my videos, the engagement really, really helps. But also what really, really helps me is when you share my videos with friends and family and helps bring in new eyes on my content. Also, when you watch the video all the way through, that helps. So even if you don't have the time, which I know a lot of us do not have the time to sit and watch a 40 minute video like this one. If you could just let it play on your TV or on your iPad or whatever you watch YouTube on, that watch time also really, really helps me and it tells YouTube to push my videos. And you guys are the only reason that I'm successful in where I am today. And you're the only reason that I'll be able to continue doing this. So I need your guys' help and I know you guys love my content and you guys are always the best. So I am asking you guys this week to help me a little bit and just if you could do those few little things for me, I would appreciate it so, so much. Fearless, steal all the gold you can get. You can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. wanted to show you guys because I stopped really quick to grab this I was thinking of it um if you follow me on Instagram you you might already know the story but this is my wedding ring if I can get it out and I could not wear it when I was pregnant with Henry because my fingers were so swollen and I couldn't wear it for months and months after for the same reason but one day I got a wild hair at my butt and decided to put it on my finger and my finger immediately started to swell and it got stuck on there and we had to cut it off. It was absolutely terrifying. I really thought I was going to have to go to the ER. Thank God my husband was home. If he wasn't home, I would have had to go to the ER. But he was able to get it off with, oops, why won't I focus? He was able to get it off with um, the dental floss method. You would have to Google it. But anyways, I am taking Maddie shopping for fall clothes when she gets home from school today. And I'm going to be going to the mall. So I'm going to take it. We got this at Zales, I think. Zales. Okay, sales. Sales. Um, I'm going to take it and hopefully they can fix it for me. Um, so I just had to go get that so I don't forget. And I thought I would share that story with my YouTube friends because, yeah, I had pictures on my Instagram and everything of my finger. It was so swollen. It was purple. It was absolutely terrifying. But I've just been wearing this one from Etsy. It's a lab created. Honestly, I don't know if I did something wrong or what because everybody raves about these rings, but honestly, I'm not uh, impressed. Um, water got inside of the gym and it's super foggy in there and it just, it's not the same as when I first got it. When I first got it, I was obsessed. You can't really tell on camera, but yeah, the gym is really foggy. I don't know what happened, so... Anyways, that's what I've been wearing, but hopefully they can fix this pretty quickly. Also, I don't know if you guys can see. You can. Look how beautiful it is outside with the fall colors, my field. And then over here, look at these fall. So beautiful. Two years and you never said a word. Oh, in two hours and now said it all. Okay, every time that I share this hack with you guys, somebody comments 
in the comment section and says, just put it in the freezer. Uh, we don't do that here. That's all I'm going to say. We don't do that here. So what we do is we use cotton balls and we put cotton balls in this wax here and it soaks it right up. But today I'm being super lazy and I don't feel like going stairs, downstairs for a cotton ball. So <laughs> I'm going to use this wad of toilet paper. This also works. Not as good as cotton balls, but it does work. So I'm just going to kind of press that in there and let it soak up all of that wax. And I am going to be using something different today. Um, this is, I feel like, kind of controversial. So do you and your home, what, you know, what you want to do. But I did this in the downstairs bathroom and I was really impressed. So I wanted to do it again today. But see how well that just soaked everything up so quick and I can just switch out scents immediately. So I'm going to be using these in there today. So I love the new Downy Light in the Ocean Mist, which I used in my laundry. I've talked about it before. It is my holy grail. So, so good. I also love the purple one, but the blue one's my favorite. Well, when I was in Dollar General the other day, I found this one in the Shea Blossom. It smells amazing. Okay, so take my word for it. I put a little bit of these in the warmer downstairs and I love how it worked. So that's what I'm doing. Putting a little bit in here. They're wax. They melt just like a Scentsy wax. They work the same way. So I'm just putting a little bit in there and it's going to make my room smell like fresh laundry. So if you want to try it, you can. If you don't, you certainly don't have to. Okay, I want to note that unfortunately these are not made for thicker mattresses which I feel like most mattresses these days are thicker <laughs> but as you can see it's not I don't know what the deal is so that's this side and then if it's around here decently but I don't know if you can see, I have about three inches of mattress showing and then on this side. So they don't fit my mattress. I don't know. I mean, it's a perfect square, right? I don't know. Maybe if I should try to turn it around and see if that helps, but I don't think that that matters. So I feel like they're probably not going to stay on good because... Like this corner is barely holding on. Let's see if I can pull it down anymore. I don't know yet. I'll have to update you in the voiceover portion of this once I've slept on them if they like fall off. I don't know if they're going to be worth it if you have a thick mattress. That's kind of a letdown. I've actually never experienced this before. I've never bought sheets that didn't fit my mattress. So I just wanted to point that out before you spend the money on these. If you have a thicker mattress, <laughs> this is the situation. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be. So the update on the sheets is I really like them. They are so soft, they are so cozy, and they are so warm. And honestly, they stayed on our mattress. So I will let you guys decide if you want to spend your money on them. I give them like, honestly, I give them a 9 out of a 10. And that the one thing is just that they didn't fit my mattress. So aesthetically, but nobody really sees that. So does it really matter? Because they did stay on my mattress and they are really comfortable. So that are that's my final thoughts on that. And so far, I'm still loving this bedding. It is so incredibly soft. And there was different colors if you don't like the gray. I always love showing the before of the vacuum because it is so crazy how much you pick up from vacuuming. And this was just in our master bedroom. When you see the after, you're going to be so grossed out. I just don't know what to do if you go. Ooh, ooh. I've been so selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough, but you're all I need. I take you places that you've never been. I would give you. 
Okay, so now I am going to share with you a new recipe that I tried. I actually learned this from Kristen Stepp's channel. She does What's For Dinners and I was watching her videos and got the idea to make this. So I just got a rotisserie chicken from Food Lion and I got some chicken broth. You're gonna need white navy beans. Actually, she said white navy beans and I just got navy beans. I don't know if there's really a difference, but I used navy beans and it turned out great. You're gonna need some flour, some butter. I used this Cracker Barrel Vermont Sharp White Cheddar Cheese, garlic powder, chili powder, ground cumin, salt, pepper, and then I'm also going to be making this cornbread by Krusty's. The honey cornbread is so, so good. So all I did was put a couple of tablespoons of butter and a couple of tablespoons of flour and I let that melt and I mix it together. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken broth. Now she said to use three cups of chicken broth and I ended up only, well, I started only using two and I thought that that would be enough. And later I ended up putting in another one. So do use three cups of chicken broth. And then I used one cup of half and half and I stirred that all together. As you can see, it's starting to boil. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my rotisserie chicken that I just peeled off the skin and peeled it off the bone. And then I rinsed and drained my navy beans and I'm mixing them in as well. And then Kristen says to use one can of corn, but I had frozen corn on hand. So I just poured in a bag of frozen corn and it worked great for me. I'm all about making recipes your own. So definitely add takeaway things you don't like or that you think might be good. She also added chili peppers into hers, little green chili peppers, but that wasn't for me. So I didn't add them into mine. So I'm just putting a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder in, and this is something you're just gonna wanna do to taste. And then I put in two tablespoons of, or I'm sorry, two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of chili powder. And then I just did a little bit of salt and pepper as well, and then I just mixed that all together. Once that was mixed together, I went in and added the cheese that I had shredded. And next time I make this recipe, I honestly might put a little bit more cheese in because I'm a cheese lover and I feel like that made it really, really good, but it maybe could have used a little bit more cheese. But again, this is one of those things you should definitely make it your own, add, take away, whatever you think would be good. But the way that I made it, I can tell you was so delicious. Everyone in the family loved it. Madeline got seconds and then she took it for lunch the next day in her little thermos. This is such a good recipe for a cold night, and like I said, my whole family loved it. I served it with cornbread on the side, and it was perfect. So here I am in adding a little bit more chicken broth later on because it was pretty thick. And of course, if you want it to be really thick, you could just leave it with the two cups, but I needed it to be a little bit more soupy. So I'm just going to stick the lid on it and just let that simmer and all of those ingredients cook together and make it so flavorful and delicious. I'm going to go ahead and spray this little pan here and go ahead and mix up my cornbread. And this is my favorite cornbread. There's also the Southern style, which is also really good. It's just not sweet. This is a very sweet cornbread. So if you like sweet cornbread, this one is so good. Let me know if you guys try this recipe. Also, let me know if you make this recipe and there's anything that you add to it that you think I should try next time I make it. I would love to know and I will definitely try something or any of the suggestions that sound good to me, I will definitely try. But this was amazing, you guys. Definitely going to be making it again. It's gonna be okay, so I am going to 
switch out my purses, but I wanted to share this one with you guys because I know a lot of you are going to love it. So this is actually from Walmart. I know it's hard to believe. It's by the brand Daisy Rose. Um, it used to be sold on Amazon, but now it's sold on Walmart. I think it's still on there. If it is, I'll link it. They also have a really pretty white one. Um, it's a very nice quality bag and it was $50 last that I checked and obviously you can kind of tell what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's not really a knockoff. It's just a lookalike. Um, they're not claiming to be anything that they're not, but it's a really, really nice bag. I've had it for a couple of years. I actually did a giveaway with one of these a couple of years ago, but um, I... I'm going to switch out. So I just wanted to share that with you though. I have one of these. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in there, but I have one of these from Amazon in there. And obviously I'm like not using it. Right. But it's one of these little things that you get to put in like a tote bag. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it in this bag or not, but I obviously wasn't utilizing it in this one. I'm a messy bag owner, but anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out, go through it, and put everything in there, and then I'll show you when I'm done. Nobody told me to settle down, day nights and late nights don't get around, but there's something about you, something about you I like. I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say. Okay, I am going to show you quickly. I have like a pile of trash, that stud finder and the toys that I found in there. This is my camera battery. I need to put those up. This is all stuff that I'm going to be putting up that I don't want in there. I just have this from when I went to the dentist the other day. I'm going to put it in the bathroom. Um, I really don't need these lip products in there. So I'm going to put them up. I keep this little thing for jewelry. And then this has baby wipes in it, but I carry a diaper bag. So I um, am going to put that up. So what I do is I keep my purse in my car and my diaper bag so sometimes it's just me and I'll grab my purse I'll just switch my wallet into it and sometimes it's not just me if I have the baby I'll just put my wallet in my diaper bag so I just keep them both at all times and that's how I do it um because I don't want to carry a diaper bag when I don't have him so anyways in here I think this is the daisy rose one I can't remember for sure because I'm pretty sure that purse comes with a little clutch and I'm pretty sure this is the daisy rose one I'm sorry. I'm sniffling. Hold on. I got to sniffle again. Okay. Um, I know you guys don't want to hear me sucking my snot up, but it is what it is. Um, so in this one, I just have like essentials. I have some floss. I have some lens cleaning wipes for my glasses. I have some butt wipes, which honestly, these, I need to throw these in the trash. They're dried out, but they were a cute little travel pack of like wipes, flushable wipes, but um, they're dried out. So I need to throw them away. Um, I actually have some temp bond in here. I didn't even know that. This is from, um, I have a crown and it came off and my friend gave me some of that, um, to keep it on until I could make it to the dentist. I still have it. So, um, I have some nail clippers, some perfume that you saw me spray, a hair tie, just like things like that, that you might need. Cause I'm an Enneagram six and I'm always prepared for everything. What Enneagram number are you if you know? If you don't know what that is, ask me and I'll tell you. Um, but it's basically like a personality type. So I'm an Enneagram 6, wing 9, and I'm prepared for everything. So anyways, I've got my little emergency kit there. I've got all my feminine products and this little thing. I've got this years ago, like probably 15 years ago, no lie. I think it came in a pack of like always pads. So I've just got tampons and pads in there. I have some hand lotion. This is really, really old. Um, it's from Bath and Body Works. I have some deodorant. I have some suckers for Kinsley. These are like emergency suckers. Um, I have 
hand sanitizer. I had a brain fart. Some cherry lip smacker. And four pens because I don't know why. I have some gift cards. My gum and mints. My wallet. One of my masks. I have a whole pack of these from Amazon. I love these. They're breathable and easy and they're disposable. Um, I have my Zales, my lifetime warranty. I'm going to keep this in my purse from now on so I can keep up on my ring. I have it in my phone now to go every six months. And then I have my keys. So that's everything. And I'm going to put it in the bag and then I'll show you. Okay, everything is in here aside from my phone. Where's my phone? I'm going to show you how my phone fits. So this is my phone. And I checked this before I bought the purse because I was like, if my phone doesn't fit in here, it's not even worth it. Bailey, come here. Come here, you want to help me? Bailey's hanging out with me. Oh, Mr. Jealous. Mr. Jealous has arrived. He heard me call Bailey. He was like, nope, she does not get attention. Okay, so my phone fits out, down in there perfectly. And then I just have my keys in this one. They fit in there perfectly. Easy access. Y'all, I can't. If you don't follow me for any other reason, follow me for this little ham right here because he is adorable. Can we get a thumbs up? Can we get a thumbs up for Tucker? Paul? Good job. Other Paul? Oh, okay. All right. We just going way down. Okay. Back to what we we're doing. So everything fits in here so nicely. I'm so impressed with myself at how well I packed because normally I am like the type of person who will pack my purse with everything imaginable and it is super heavy. I've gotten so much better. So I put my pins and gift cards that I have in here. I don't know why I don't keep them in my wallet. It's really, I just, I don't know. Um, and then here I have my gum and my mints and my hand sanitizer and my lip gloss. Bailey, she wants out. <laughs> and here I have uh, my lotion and I forgot. I already forgot. What did I put in here? My lotion and my deodorant and those emergency suckers. And then in the big pocket, I have my wallet, that little clutch here with like my emergency items, my mask, my feminine products, and my lifetime warranty for my ring because I'm going to, I'm going to be good this time. That's it, right? Yeah, that's everything. So if it's really nicely in there, I love it. It's still pretty heavy, but it, ooh, you guys, I forgot I have this whole pocket back here. What am I going to put in there? Hey, this never happens. I never have an empty pocket in my purse, so that's pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up putting something in there. But I love my purse. I got it at Buckle again in case you've missed that. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that what's in my purse. Here's what it looks like on me. Super com cozy, comfortable. I don't know what I was going to say there. I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because it's probably like two days long. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Um, do all the things. It all helps. And I will see you in next week's video.